let's see the volumetric lighting, the cut rays and light gobos so we can project shadows to the scene to make it more interesting but we can also use it to fake caustics and we can animate it this particular scene will be available for patrons but you can get my old scene for free simply type zero then add to cart and this will include the textures for the light the links will be in the description I'm gonna use cycles and set the viewport samples to 16 and turn on the noise now I'm gonna preview the render now let's go here in world um, you can adjust it if you want you can also use an HDRI but I need a dark scene so I'm gonna leave it as is so now let's add a spotlight simply rotate the light by pressing R or you can use shift T this will let you point the light at the mouse cursor now in data turn on use nodes I'm gonna increase the strength until I can see the light you can modify the spot size Now open the shader editor, select the emission shader and press Ctrl T and here select the texture, um, you should use a black and white texture. Here in data by increasing radius we can make the shadow softer maybe I can increase power and we can also scale and rotate the image in the mapping node now for the god rays simply add a cube and make sure to cover all the scene then create the material and add a volume scatter connect it to volume and lower density I need to use a very low density and I'm going to increase power again of course you can choose a different color if you want also here in render under color management I'm using medium high contrast now turn on white balance and you can select a preset from here if you want a cooler or warmer image now let me use a different texture I'm gonna select this caustic texture we can also add some distortion to the texture and animate it so let's add a mixed color a noise texture connect noise to the input now change to 4D and we can randomize it with W we can mix the textures with factor
And finally, we can animate it with a driver. Let's type hashtag frame slash 600, for example. The larger the number, the slower the animation will be. So now let's hit spacebar to start the animation and simply play around with the scale in noise texture. Now in the mapping node, I'm going to increase the scale. Now let's go here in data. We can increase the spot size and adjust the radius. 